four. Well, we know Vatican City is a world away from Southern California, but our leaders will play a big role in the selection of the next pope. Welcome back. I'm Sandra Mitchell. And I'm Susie Sa. Los Angeles is the largest Catholic archdiocese in the United States and has a strong presence in the conclave. KCAL Sylvia Lopez is live in Vatican City right now to explain how the cardinals from Southern California could influence the voters of the other electors. Sylvia. Susie and Sandra, you know, there's been a lot of attention paid to Cardinal Roger Mahoney and his role here, but there hasn't really been a lot said about two other cardinals from the Los Angeles area. They went to school with Cardinal Mahoney. They have uh, had a very long 50 year career uh, parallel to his. They will also be voting in this conclave, and there's a lot of speculation here among Vatican observers about the role that the three of them together could play in this conclave. On the eve of the papal conclave here in Vatican City, the City of Angels is uniquely represented, unlike just about any other city in the world. Three of the cardinal electors are from the Los Angeles area. It's uh, quite unusual, at least for our country, of course, and, uh, and they have good, good reason to be proud. Monsignor Peter Nugent of St. John Eudes in Chatsworth attended St. John's Seminary in Camarillo with all three of the cardinals. Roger Mahoney, who was born in Hollywood and raised in the San Fernando Valley. William Leveda from Long Beach, once the highest ranking American in the Catholic Church and former Archbishop of San Francisco. And rounding out the trio, Justin Regali, the retired Archbishop of Philadelphia, also born and raised in L.A. Oh, wow. He needs a lot of strengths. Monsignor Nugent says he's remained close with these three princes of the church. Continued on, uh, Cardinal Mahoney and Cardinal Dade and I see one another a lot during the year, take time off together, go on trips. While the trio may not exactly constitute a voting block per se, their presence here at the conclave says a lot about the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, the largest archdiocese in the U.S. Sister Bernadette Reese works at the Paulist Bookstore in Rome, but she's from Torrance. She says while the L.A. Cardinals have slightly different points of view, they could still influence the other electors just with their SoCal sensibilities. Um, we're a bit warmer. You know, we, it's, it's, I think, a little bit more easier for us to get into dialogue with people simply just because that's kind of the style that we grew up with. So that's a huge plus in their favor. They differ a lot in, uh, I think, the way they consider things. In the discussions, they kind of uh, come to agreements uh, on various kinds of grounds. So, so they uh, could I, potentially influence. It could, it could be an influence, yeah. Now, again, the three of them uh, have somewhat different viewpoints. Cardinal Mahoney is seen as having a more liberal, liberal point of view on many different issues. Uh, but tomorrow in the afternoon, they will enter the Sistine Chapel together. These three men who have had a 50 year long career together as clergymen, and uh, they will begin to take part in what will surely be the most important event of those 50 years that they have shared together. Reporting live from Vatican City, I'm Sylvia Lopez.